Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and a while back, probably about two summers ago now, I made a mini flame door with a syringe and a lighter. It was a pretty cool video, but got some hate because it was very small. If you haven't seen the video, I'll post the link right up here. Go watch it. It was very popular, got lots of views, and so for that reason, I have decided to do it again. This time the only difference is that we are going to be doing the extra large version. This of course is still not going to be a military grade flamethrower that will take down houses or cars. It will still just be a nifty project you can do indoors or outdoors. Quick, easy and cheap to build. All you're going to need for this project is a large syringe, a large lighter, your propellant, of course I'm using axe, um, some tools for the lighter and a hot glue gun. First step is to take a look at your lighter. So this one here, as you can see, it is pretty large. I don't have tiny hands, I don't think. And I'd say it's probably about four inches long. But the problem is, here's the size of the flame, non-existent. Even if you adjust it to fully maximum, it's still nothing awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and take off those two screws to adjust the flame. Now that the screws are off of our jumbo light, I'm going to go ahead and take off the little metal cover just like that. And as you can see, there's the adjuster knob. And before, it was constrained to that little slot on the piece of metal. But now, as you can see, the plus is pointed to the right. So we're going to go ahead and open the flame up all the way by moving it as far as it can go. Now when you pull on the lighter, we have a good sized flame. Next, I simply reinstalled the cover of the lighter just for aesthetics and I used some scissors to open up this slot so that you can keep it fully opened. The next step, if you haven't already guessed, is to take your syringe. Mine is a very large 2 ounce syringe. You can go ahead and remove the end cap, you won't be needing that. And you can go ahead and mock up the placement. And the key here is that the end of your nozzle and where the flame is line up pretty flush like that for example so when you light the flame it goes right near the tip of the syringe so I'm gonna go ahead and mount mine right about there the easiest way to do that I have found is just to simply use a hot glue gun and place a nice consistent bead all the way down your lighter make sure your hot glue gun isn't set on the hottest setting as you don't want to burst open the lighter and then go ahead and set it in place and while it's still wet move it into position like I said so the tip of both items are flush up and down so there you have it the final product very simple to make now I'm going to go ahead and show you some testing I decided to keep it simple I was thinking of ways to integrate the fuel system into the syringe but for now all you have to do is take, like I said, something flammable or explosive, such as axe. Do the smallest spray in the back. You can experiment with different amounts. Insert the back of the plunger, and then I'll show you a quick testing here. Go ahead and light the lighter, then plunge on the syringe. Just like that. Let's back it up a little bit. All right, here's number. Here's test number two with a bit more fluid in the end. Take three, here we go. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this revised version of my original flamethrower project. If you remember seeing the first one, I also got a lot of comments to use actual fluids rather than vapors. So it's such as gasoline or like 90% alcohol. And I'm sure that would work. But in a plastic container with your hand right here, I don't quite know if you want to shoot two ounces of gasoline that close to your your thumb. So I like this version quite a bit better. Um, you can experiment with different items. If you do put a little bit of alcohol in here or a little bit of gas so that there's vapors which will be caught on fire, it would work very well as well. I just had this axe on hand. It's not meant to be a huge flamethrower like I said, just more a fun little project. 
So hopefully this video doesn't get as much heat as the last one, as this one is quite a bit bigger and more powerful. Um, so please let me know what you think of it. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Drift Trike updates. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Race Kart. Thanks for watching.